What better way to start Episodic Christmas than to look at what I consider to be my favorite live-action show of all time, Mystery Science Theater 3000. For those of you that don't know what the series is about, without playing the theme song which explains it, here's a quick sum up. An average guy gets shot up into space by his bosses, two mad scientists, who force him to watch the worst movies ever made in an attempt to find the worst one of them all to take over the world with. It was early cable, they could get away with such things on TV then. The main focus of the show is the horrible movies that are presented to the human who built two robot companions with him and they spew verbal insults to them. The series lasted for 10 seasons, 11 if you count the Minneapolis only season, but surprisingly during that time they only had two Christmas episodes, one for each host. There's a long story there. We're going to take a look at the first one this year, which they look at the movie Santa Claus Conquers the Martians. Well, we're assuming that's the title of this as... well, just take a look here. Hey, hold on, isn't there a, uh, a title to this movie? Yeah, I think it's either Santa Claus Conquers the Martians or Roadhouse, I'm not sure what. Oh, Roadhouse, whoo! Formula-wise, this episode is pretty much the same as any other episode of the series. A majority of the episode focusing on insults that the movie presented them, interspersed here and there with segments outside the theater. To focus on those segments first, they aren't the most wild and crazy ones out there, but they do focus a good majority on the things of the holidays in their own way. Commercialism of viewing catalogs, bad gifts and an invention made by the mad scientist called the Wish Squisher, Christmas carols in the form of the song, Let's Have a Patrick Swayze Christmas. It's my way or the highway this Christmas at my bar. I'll have to smash your kneecaps if you bastards touch my car. A twisted interpretation of the gift of the Magi at the end, and even making fun of holiday specials at the time, both in taking a look at them in videos, and as well as making up New Island for Misfit Toys toys. It's Gypsy's contribution to the New Island of Misfit Toys, Mr. Mesh Potato Head. But of course, the main attraction here is the movie they present, and who boy is it a goofy one. Basically, the leader of Mars figures that to help make his children happy, he needs to abduct Santa Claus from Earth and bring him to Mars. You know, instead of just faking it like the rest of the world does. What follows is dumb props, a killer man in a polar bear costume, a robot made out of cardboard box and a coffee urn, and the most inane final battle any movie I've ever seen has had. Uh oh, hilarity guys. Not since the pie fight scene in the great race. Uh, not since the mudslide scene in McClintock. Not since the wagon race scene in the Hallelujah Trail. Uh, not since the chess playing scene in the Seventh Seal. Not since the orgy scene in Calicut. Oh, huh? Hilarity, anyway. All in all, though, the jokes tie together well with this movie, as do the segments, making this one of the favorite episodes of the series to many. For those that have never seen it, if you can find Mystery Science Theater 3000, The Essentials, it's on there along with another series favorite, Manos the Hands of Fate. The set is a bit rare, but this episode makes it worth your time to find. Yeah, are we really this cynical about Christmas? Well, yeah. well, maybe Gypsy has a Christmas word for everybody. Hey. <laughs> well... Merry Christmas, everybody. We got commercial sign up here. What about you, Crow? I want to decide who lives and who dies. Oh, I don't know. <laughs>